to talk to you about the new cross feed auger on the Curry Revolution Ditcher and some of its features. So right now we've got a scenario where we've plugged the rotor and uh, the cross auger. And we're going to show you how easy it is to get it unplugged. So you're going to lift the machine out of the ground. And then we have a fore and aft feature on the cross auger itself where we can move it forward to help clear out that obstruction. We also have the ability to reverse the auger to continue to clean that. And then you can move it back into the rear position to get it clean it out. In tougher conditions, you can, you can go back and forth a little bit. And in this case, we probably cleaned it out well enough. We can probably restart the, the ditcher. And then we can continue on ditching again. Another feature of the new uh, cross feed auger on the Curry Revolution Ditcher is the ability to run the auger in multiple positions. By changing pressure on the machine, we can lock it in the down position, we can lock it in an up position, and we can also put it in a float position. So as you're going across the ground and you get tough conditions where maybe you're starting to feed more material, the auger itself will float on top of that material just to keep it promoted floating. It'll look like a down position, but it will float over that material as you start loading up the machine. Usually a lot of times in heavy clays is where you'll use that feature, but it can really use in any kind of condition. Uh, all of it's controllable here on the machine. For having it in the, the up position, we'll drop the pressure below 500 PSI. To put it into a float position, we'll put it in a range somewhere between 800 and 1,000 PSI. And that'll provide a little bit of down pressure, but as that uh, ground and uh, material get in there, that'll provide enough pressure to cause the cross auger to float up. And if we want to lock it in the full down position, we'll set the pressure at above 1,000 PSI. 1,500 PSI should hold it all the way down. If not, you can keep increasing that pressure to make sure it stays down in your ground conditions. Some of the other features on here is the fore and aft, the ability to go fore and aft. So some of the benefits of that as, you, as your ground conditions change or you get into heavy trash, a lot of times you will want to have the auger in the forward position. If you're in heavy clays or really tough soils, you'll want to have it in the rear position. And so that's all controllable from the cab. And again, I'll show it in the, right now we're in the down position. I'll show it in the up position which uh, all the way in the rear.